Good Day Church. Many of us are coming together in our house churches via Zoom for these next few weekends. And while some of us might feel disappointed at doing so, let us also be filled with gratitude at being able to worship the Lord even through this means and still come together. So let's take this time to thank the Lord for the offer tree as well as also to commit ourselves and our house churches into the Lord's hands. Let us pray. Almighty God, first of all, Father, we ask humbly that you remind us of your sovereignty, of your might, of your power, that you are in control. Remind us of these amazing characteristics and attributes of yours, dear Lord, in spite of how we are feeling, of our anxiety and our worry. For Lord, seeing a big view of who you are is precisely what we need most of all. So Father, we have worshipped you also through our offer tree. We have given it in faith. So strengthen our faith as well and grant wisdom to our leaders to use the money wisely for the expansion of your kingdom. But also this day, dear Lord, we ask for your hand of mercy upon the nations around us. Father, we, and I remember specifically nations like India and Nepal where COVID-19 is ravaging the whole country. So Father, really be merciful to them, dear Lord. Be gracious to them. Pour off your hand of healing upon them, dear Father. Even the clusters in Singapore. Father, I commend all those who are both directly and indirectly affected by COVID-19, Father, I pray that in a supernatural way, Father, they would know that you are almighty. You be the one to bring healing and comfort to those afflicted and affected. And so for our house churches, we thank you that we can still come together in this manner. Father, unite our hearts, even though we might be geographically apart once again. Unite our hearts in our sharing, in our testimonies, in our listening of the word together, in our worship of you. Keep us close to you spiritually, dear Lord. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, good day, church. I have a couple of important announcements regarding upcoming events. And first of all is the Vacation Bible School. That's right, the Vacation Bible School happening on the 10th to the 12th of June for children aged 6 all the way to 12. And it's happening, well, currently on site here at 9 a.m. to 12 noon. The registration link is seen in the QR code and it is now open for registration. And please register quickly as we only actually have capacity for 30 children. I do want to assure parents as well that you can register because we will be uh, keeping a close eye on the safety requirements and protocols from uh, the authorities. We also want to keep our teachers, our helpers, our children safe. So do rest assured that we will uh, adapt our plan accordingly so that we can all come together safely and learn about and remember about Jesus Christ, our King. And also on a Saturday on 12, uh, 9 a.m. to 12 noon, we also have a concurrent and special uh, pa well, parents workshop uh, organized by our Family Life Ministry, the Parental Support Group. So that's to help us along even in our parenting journey. So Vacation Bible School, 10 to 12. Uh, 12 also a parenting workshop there. Register right now. Well, on that same weekend, on that Sunday, 13th of June, is also our annual AGM. This announcement is to, re remember, uh, to inform all members that this year's AGM on that Sunday, 13th June, it will be held online, like last year, online at 5 p.m. We will be sending out a notice next week via our, your emails, so keep an eye on your emails, and in that email will be the needed details for registering for the AGM as well as where you can download the actual notice as well as all the necessary documents. So keep an eye out uh, in uh, your emails for the information. And lastly, but definitely not the least, this weekend is Mother's Day. That's right, and even though some of our plans might have changed because of the current uh, safety rules and regulations, nonetheless, we still do want to remember and commit and pray for all our mummies. 
So will you join me now in praying for all the mothers in our midst, mothers, grandmothers, spiritual mothers, and especially now, our fathers, our men, especially you. Please pray along with me as we commit our mummies into the Lord's hands. Let's pray. Almighty God, first of all, we want to thank you for the families that have given to us both our biological families, but also our spiritual families here in Yochukang Chapel. We thank you then specifically today and we want to honour all our mummies into your loving hands. Mothers, grandmothers, spiritual mothers, Lord, we commit them, Lord, to you and ask that you bless them and keep them, dear Lord. Lord, we pray for all our mothers, even as they juggle so many things for amid, amongst our midst, our, our working mothers, stay-at-home mummies, or even grandmothers, even mummies who have a mix of all that. Father, we know that our mothers juggle so much in their lives. And so we then pray for you to strengthen them and be their daily bread, even as they carry out the day-to-day -day management organization of the family. And yes, dear Lord, the organization of the family. So specifically, dear Lord, I ask and pray that you be with them and remind them of who you are, even in the mundane of all things, even in the things of like preparing meals, washing of the laundry, for example, helping their children with homework, even for our nursing mothers who stay up late into the night uh, feeding their children. Father, in all these mundane, supposedly mundane, Father, I ask specifically that you, O oh Lord, in those moments will be so real to them and reveal yourself to them. Father, that they would know without a shadow of a doubt that as they pour forth their love and their very selves, even in the running of the household, that Lord, they might know that you are refining them and helping them grow to be more and more like Christ every single day. We thank you, dear Lord, and we are so blessed by their tirelessness, their perseverance. And we pray for them, dear Lord, and commit them lovingly to you. Father, specifically this morning, I also do want to commit the single mothers in our congregation. Father, our hearts ache at where they are in sometimes having to parent and father their children on their own. Lord, I pray especially for them that you might be especially close to them. I ask you, dear Lord, that while they might be doing this parenting journey alone, I pray against that they might not feel lonely, dear Lord. I pray that this local congregation will come alongside and support them so that they might know that they are definitely not alone in this journey. Give them an extra portion of your grace and your love and assurance, dear Lord. So once again, we honour all our mummies, dear Lord, and entrust them lovingly into your powerful hands. Thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So without further ado, I'll hand the time over to Pastor Rick, who will continue on our sermon series on Ecclesiastes. Pastor Rick, please. <laughs> 